To add a color change to work that you've already created in Stitch and Sew, first make sure that you have your object list open at the bottom. If you don't, you can go to Tools, Show and Hide Object List. This shows you your color layout, and as long as um, <clears throat> and the color layout is defined by uh, s small red stop symbols. In this case, we don't see any, which means that this is all going to show on an embroidery machine as a single color design. But let's say that we want to go ahead and uh, make part of the the this text here a different color. So we can select that text. You can either do it here or down here. Make sure you're not in digitizing or editing or lettering and simply pick a color swatch and then pick a different color and hit OK and watch when we hit OK you'll see the stop symbols appear here so you can see two you can see that um, after the first two letters there's a command uh, to change colors and because it stays in the same order there's a second command uh, to after the color change to return back to the same color. So when you output this uh, to a machine, this will actually be seen in, uh, in EXP, DST, or TAP format as a three color section design. First color here on this, the left of the stop sign, and the middle color here um, between the two stop signs, and the last color here on the right side. 